Hello everyone, my name is Jadoni. I have a bachelor's degree in neuroscience, and today I'd like to go over the basic neuronal structure and functions of each part of the neuron. Here I have drawn your typical image of a neuron. Now keep in mind, there are many different types of neurons, but for our purposes, this image of a neuron is what you will most likely encounter in a textbook and classroom setting. Now a neuron is a cell with a special function that makes it unique compared to other cells in the body. In simple terms, a neuron is the basic signaling unit of the nervous system. Neurons sense change in the environment and they communicate these changes to other neurons. To get an idea of how this works, we'll start with this big cell body of the neuron called the soma. The soma is the metabolic center of the cell. It makes proteins, contains the DNA of the nucleus, but we don't need to worry about all that right now. What is important to know is the name. See all these structures extending out from the soma? They're called dendrites. These dendrites are what receive incoming signals from surrounding neurons. Now if you look even closer at these dendrites, you'll notice tiny little structures called dendritic spines. These spines, if you will, sort of help connect the nerves together. You can kind of imagine the soma and dendrites of a neuron as that of an octopus, like our friend Octavio here. The tentacles are like the dendrites of a neuron, and the head is like the soma. As we see Octavio swimming in the water, all the suction cups underneath are like the spines. The more suction cups Octavio uses, the better he's able to stick and grab onto food. Or as with neurons, more spines can mean more ways to connect and strengthen signal pathways. Spines play a huge role in learning and memory. Diseases such as Alzheimer's, it's a very hot topic in research today, but that's for another video. Let's move on. Now at the base of the soma, we have this long protuberance called the axon. The axon begins with the region at the base of the soma called the axon hillock. As you've guessed, the purpose of the axon is to transfer information or electrical signals as we see with these arrows. A signal comes down from the dendrites through the soma and axon hillock and down the axon to the end. These signals traveling down are called action potentials. They are what the brain uses to receive, analyze, and convey information with. If you look at this particular axon, you'll notice a material wrapped around them. These structures are called myelin sheaths. In slight detail, myelin is a lipid fatty substance and it comes from the surrounding myelinating glial cells. These cells provide layers of membrane that wrap and spiral around axons like a sword in a scabbard or a sheath, hence the term myelin sheath, which is what describes the entire covering. And the purpose of the myelin sheath is to increase the speed by which action potentials are conducted down the axon. Now here is the same neuron with no myelin sheaths and an action potential running down it. Adding the myelin back on will increase the speed at which the action potential or electrical signal travels. And these open spaces between the myelin are called nodes of Ranvier. It's at these uninsulated spots of the axon where the action potential is regenerated, where ions can pass in and out of the membrane and fuel the electrical signal to pass on. Quick side note, you'll hear it pronounced Ranvier and not Ranvier because of the man who discovered it, French scientist Louis Antoine Ranvier. I point this out because you'll sometimes hear it pronounced using the R at the end, and it can get confusing from time to time. Anyway, as we get closer to the end of the neuron, we call this end piece the axon terminal. Let's zoom in on one of these parts. It is here where the action potential reaches and triggers the release of chemical signals called neurotransmitters. Upon release, the neurotransmitters attach onto the target neuron, which then activates another signal. Now this junction area is called the synapse. The cell transmitting the signal is the presynaptic neuron and the receiving cell is the postsynaptic neuron. This gap between the cells is the synaptic cleft. And there you have it. And now it's overview time! So now you have your basic parts of the neuron, the cell body or soma, 
the dendrites, the axon, and the axon terminals. Now to get into more detail of the signal pathway, we have a nearby neuron shown here attaching onto and sending signals to this neuron. The signals are sent to the dendrites and soma through the axon hillock region, which activate and send an action potential, which is then sent down the axon, increasing its speeds at the myelin sheaths and recharging at the nodes of Ranvier, all the way down to the axon terminals, which release neurotransmitters that are sent to another neuron and the process is repeated. Remember that the axon terminals can attach onto another neuron's spines, dendrites, and soma. By the way, has anyone ever played the game Minecraft? Remember the creature from the game called the Guardian? It kind of reminded me of a neuron. See if you can name the parts that resemble a neuron. Well, thank you for watching my video. I'm planning on making this into a series, so if you have any specific questions or anything you'd like to add, please leave it in the comments. Also, if there's anything I can improve on or you'd like to see in the future, please let me know. Until next time.